Hi everyone, very exciting today. This week actually, it was uh, Hilula, the yard site of a very great rabbi that would be a chief rabbi in Bursa in Turkey, in Bitola, in Bitola in Macedonia, also in Tripoli in Libya naturally, and in Baghdad, very, very well traveled, great, great rabbi, Chacham David Papo. Zechet Tzadik Lebracha, Rabbi David Papa, one of the great rabbis, very worldly and uh, very, very great, very, very excited I was to do this video. We are a few days late. He passed away in Chafbet Nisan in English year 1927. So we're talking about 97 years ago, friends. And uh, he was actually born back around in the year, I believe, 1847, 1848. Uh, I believe 1848 uh, he was born, actually. A very, very interesting. Much, much can be said about uh, the great Chacham. So he's born in Kushta. This is, uh, I believe the English state was May the 26th, 1848. To Shlomo, Rav Shlomo and Rabbanit Sultana Papo. And at the age of seven years old, he emigrated with his parents to Eretz Israel, to the land of Israel, respectively. His father was a wealthy merchant and took care of the son's education and learned inside the yeshiva in, along the city with a lot of great rabbis, including uh, Rav Yitzchak Ashkenazi, Rabbi Yaakov Meir, also who become, was the first Rishon LeZion and at, of uh, Israel. At the end of his studies, he was authorized to teach by the rabbis of the Sephardic community in Jerusalem. And uh, uh, obviously very, very happy over there. Got married and uh, he made a living also. Uh, uh, also was able to make a living. And uh, however, there was a fire that occurred in the city. And unfortunately, uh, a lot of his possessions or most of his possessions uh, and livelihood was lost. And in year 1893, he moved to live in Tripoli. Tripoli naturally is in Libya, where we talked about different great Libyan Chachamim in recent uh, weeks also. And he was appointed to serve as the chief rabbi over there. I think it was a term that lasted around two years. And then he moved to live in Bursa uh, afterwards, and, uh, which was very, very interesting. And uh, he served as the chief rabbi of Bursa. Bursa naturally is in Turkey, which had a very, very great, uh, huge, huge... Uh, Jewish Torah community also there. I believe he was there for several years also and received from the Ottoman Sultan the letter, uh, uh, a specific letter from the... Uh, remember, there was a lot of uh, dignified positions, uh, honors that were given from the various leaders in the different countries which uh, the great Rabonim actually served in over there. But he was given a uh, specific uh, honor over there in uh, that specific place from the dignitaries of that specific area. And then after that, uh, in the year 1902, he was appointed to serve as a chief rabbi of Bitola in Macedonia, which also lasted a couple of years, which was, uh, we haven't really spoken about many rabbis that actually got prominent positions in Macedonia, but uh, nonetheless, it was a great, great position. And then at the end of this term, while he served as a chief rabbi there, he actually moved back to Baghdad, to Iraq, where he was appointed to serve as the chief rabbi over there also. And uh, it's actually interesting, he also uh, received from the Turkish Sultan over there a first-class badge of honor, which is called a Majidia. And his ministry in Baghdad led to construction of a very, very large Talmud Torah, which uh, also uh, helped do a lot of charity work for a lot of the needy also inside that area. There was problems though while he was in Iraq with the government. Obviously, there was in many, many different areas. And uh, after after a specific time, time period, he uh, then left Baghdad and journeyed back to Jerusalem. We stopped off in Khalab on the way, and stayed. Actually, was staying with the great, great Rabbi Chacham Cheskia Shabtai also, and. Uh, he was so greatly honored, you know, all the dignitaries came up to him, all the great job on him came uh, to him and, uh, and was given the big, big honors. He moved, was well-traveled, he moved to Beirut, Lebanon, which also had a Jewish community. And later, later on, I believe in September 1911, he moved to Jerusalem, Yerushalayim Shel Zahab, and was appointed a member of the rabbinical ministry over there. And he was also appointed an Av Betdin, also of the Sephardi community, also in uh, Jerusalem as he came back. He served as a deputy of, uh, to Rabbi Moshe Yehuda Franco uh, in a very, very uh, prominent position also in Jerusalem. And he was then chose to serve as a member of the Sephardi community 
uh, uh, committee in Jerusalem alongside with other different great rabbi, r- rabbanim, including Chacham uh, Abram uh, Bijajah, also, and Yosef Mordechai Levi, and Rabbi Hanania Gabriel, and also Rabbi Shlomo Laniada, also, and Rabbi Yish- Yosef Shaul Elisha, also. And then uh, he passed away at the age of around 79 years old in uh, 1927. This was uh, in the Bet Nisan, uh, just after Pesach, naturally, was, uh, so it was this week at the time of recording. He passed away. Let's look at, he wrote some great, great Torah works, also a short, which was at the, called the Pnei David, which was, uh, I believe, printed in Jerusalem. There was a Bnei Meir, which was based on Drashot. And there was uh, many, many different uh, subjects within regards to the community in Baghdad, Torah uh, uh, concepts over there. And uh, it's actually interesting. Uh, okay, and other different workings also. Yeah, so he, there was also a lot of different works. He also wrote many ideas also, which he put in, inside sacks of uh, papers uh, in many of the different books he did while he was traveling around. And uh, a lot, a lot of works, of uh, colossal Torah works of his uh, hasn't, hasn't been traced even to this day. It hasn't been uh, tr- 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 traced to this day, unfortunately, some of his works. But he was one of the great rabbis also. But, uh, there's actually a picture of, I can see, of the Sefer of the Pnei David also. And he was buried in Har Zaytim in Jerusalem also. He was, there's many pic- pictures of the great rabbi also along. If you look online with the uh, great different rabbanim in Iraq also respectively. Of the Chachmei uh, Iraq of Baghdad also. Which I very much recommend everyone to uh, look at also. So he was well traveled just to sum up. Uh, he was a great rabbi, a great Diane. Uh, he also had the position of being a manager of a, a hospital. Also, this was towards the end of his life. Also, which I didn't add on before. But this we're talking about a rabbi that was chief rabbi in Turkey, in uh, Macedonia, in Iraq, and also in Libya. Also, very very well travelled. It was his ilula this week, Rabbi David Papo Zechad Sadik Lebracha. Please light candles in his memory this week. Learn more about the great rabbi. And the police will show over all, other video, all the other videos I've done on the great uh, Sfadi Rabbanim. We've already hit around, uh, we've already done around, had the honor of doing around 180 Rabbanim over here. So please share and uh, please give feedback. I'm wishing you all a great day.